to get started I'm just taking some craft clay that I found at Walmart and I'm just kind of pressing it and molding it into a shape of a little loaf of bread and I'm taking my clay tool and I'm making two indents on both sides of my clay just to kind of make it look even more like bread and you can smooth that out with your fingers Now I'm taking some chalk pastel and I'm brushing it on to the edges of my um, clay piece of bread and this will give the bread some detail and will make the edges look toasted. Now I'm taking a toothbrush and pressing gently onto my clay and this will just give our bread some texture. And now I'm just taking a small piece of red clay and this is for the jelly and I'm just kind of shaping it into like a very sloppy circle and now I'm pressing that on to my little loaf of bread. And I did the same thing with the peanut butter. And now for the eyes, I'm just taking two small balls of black clay and gently pressing that on. Since I want these two to be charms, I'm taking two small eye pins that you can basically find at any craft store and pressing them gently onto the top of my charm. And now for the cheeks, I'm taking my pink pastel and my paintbrush and gently dabbing on the cheeks. And for my other charm, I did put on a clay smile, but for this one, I decided to paint on a smile. It doesn't really matter, you could do it either way. And I'm just using acrylic paint. And now I'm just going in for the finishing touches on the eyes. And the glaze that I used for my charms, I actually used clear nail polish and I looked it up after I was done making this video and it said that clear nail polish on clay charms will actually like eat away at your charms and make them smushy. So I did not know that. So ignore me putting on clear nail polish in this video and just stick with um, the glaze that is meant for clay charms and I will link that glaze down in the description box below. So just, yeah, ignore this part of me covering my charms with nail polish. I don't know if it's after a few days or a few years that it will eat away at it, but I don't want to take any chances. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you want me to make any more clay charm DIYs or tutorials, just let me know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.